going on guys this is the one man army mr easy for life coming back at you guys once again with another blade and soul video it's been a few weeks since i've done a bns video so i figured i might give one out to you guys and then thankfully i got i actually have something to say i got uh got some good news for you right some good news and uh yeah man so uh, uh, I've taken a little bit of a, a little bit of a break from the game for a few weeks. Well, not for a few weeks, but uh, during the weekdays, right? The days that I usually play. Uh, I've taken a break. Been playing some Destiny 2. You've seen that I posted the raid and whatnot. Uh, anyway, I've uh, been doing my Vortex Temple raids. I said this in my stream a couple weeks ago that uh, the only thing that's able, the only thing that I could do these days uh, in order to progress in my gear is to pretty much run Vortex Temple. Unfortunately, since that raid is a weekly lockout, I can only do it once a week, so I've only been logging on uh, to do my Vortex Temple raids with the clan every weekend and whatnot, because that's whenever we do that. Do that. And uh, thankfully, man, we got some good news. If I open up my gear, as you can see, the past two weeks. I've been getting some Vortex Temple gear, yes, that's right, we are fucking getting out of the fucking Raven era and into the Vortex era, or the, uh, the Aranzu era, and as you can see, I just picked up my badge, the Aranzu Mystic Badge, I've been testing it out for the past few days, or at least a day or two, and uh, I'm loving it, this thing is fucking insane this is the biggest dps increase i have ever received since i got this badge like let me tell you this is like i mean i, I can't even explain it this thing is amazing i mean look at look at the amount of effects that this thing does all right and i pretty much just wanted to showcase or, or tell you what's been going on with me lately and uh yes yeah, so this is pretty much the rundown been doing been taking a break from the game logging in to do the vortex temples and thankfully been getting lucky on getting some loot pulls and getting some loot that's been dropping. The second boss, the, the Great Thrall, has been very generous uh, to me, and he's been dropping. Uh, the past two weeks, uh, uh, two weeks ago, he dropped the necklace. As you can see, this is the VT necklace. I don't have it stage 10. I did not finish stage 6. Don't fucking judge me. I ran out of jewels, okay? I gotta go get some more. I know. I know it's not maxed. But it's good enough. Don't judge me, all right? The Dark Storm effect is really nice. The Dark Storm effect pretty much gives me uh, gives me critical damage and some AP back. Because as you can see, if you look at these stats, the VT necklace actually does not give you uh, any crit damage. So if you look at the old necklace, that 777 crit damage gets lost whenever you put this on. But thankfully, as you could see, the Dark Storm effect, the Dark Storm effect make, makes uh, sure that you get some uh, uh, critical damage back. So not only are you getting elemental damage, as you could see, I have 400, I gained 454 earth damage, but I'm also getting back about 350 crit damage uh, as well at the same time. So it was a DPS increase, uh, and yeah, so uh, yeah, two weeks ago got the necklace, and this past weekend. He dropped the badge. So back to back two weeks, I was able to pick up some VT gear. As you can see, this thing does wonders for me. This was the badge I was running before. Right, the uh, the Skyrift Mystic badge, which only enhances my Mighty Cleave when using Wrath. But the Aranzu badge, man, look at this shit. I mean, it increases my Fury for an extra four seconds. Okay, so Fury is usually six seconds. Now I have it for ten. 10 seconds. It also triggers a brand new skill that's only exclusive to this badge called Explosive Rage. Alright, Explosive Rage, which inflicts earth damage equal to 4200% of attack power for one and a half seconds during Explosive Rage. So it's a massive AoE, okay? It's a fucking massive AoE. We'll do a demonstration. I'll show you what it looks like. This is pretty much the skill animation right now. Check this shit out. As you can see, he does that explosive wave three times fucking sick i love it it's so cool it's so fucking badass i love it and yeah that's explosive rage and that animation itself does damage it does a nice aoe damage and yeah so it also does, uh, reduces the cooldown on my mighty cleave by six seconds when i use wrath and wrath also uh or no not wrath uh cleave also gets 300 percent additional earth attack power during fury so cleave gets buffed while i'm in fury and 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 below that, it says 400% additional attack, Earth attack power on a successful Wrath. So as you know, for Earth Destroyer build, you're using, when you're in Fury, you're using Wrath plus Cleave. Okay, Wrath plus Cleave is the pretty much the bread and butter. And as you can see, the badge buffs both of those moves. It buffs Cleave and it buffs Wrath. 
And uh, yeah, man. And uh, like I said, it, it does the Mighty Cleave thing, so we're using more Mighty Cleaves. And more Mighty Cleaves, the better, because the more we can proc the Tiger Bracelet, as you can see right here, right? It uh, pretty much every time I use Mighty Cleave, it procs the uh, the Tiger effect, which also enhances uh, Cleave, right? And Cleave is already getting buffed while I'm in Fury. So Cleave, Cleave is pretty much my main source of DPS, right? When it comes to these two, or uh, with this badge. I also switched out my soul badge as you can see. I wasn't going to use this badge unless I had this one, okay? These two tie in together really nicely. A lot of classes are using this, the purple badge Aranzu combo. And uh, yeah, so I, I jump shipped. I was using Primal Force for a while. Primal Force and it was the Sky Rift. But since I got this, I switched it over to the Courage. Which the, uh, the Courage is a nice uh, quality of life thing. It pretty much uh, reduces my fury by another 6 seconds. Uh, whenever I use Smash, and in the in the beginning of the rotation for Destroyer, we always use Smash at the beginning, right? So uh, yeah, man, uh, the more fury, the better, right? Uh, one more thing, uh, when I the same week that I actually got my necklace, I also was able to pick up three-piece VT Bowpie set. So as you can see, it increases my cleave damage, right, which is the main source of DPS, uh, by 40%, and my mighty cleave by 80%. It's a little bit better. Uh, obviously, I want the full eight-piece, okay? I want the fucking full eight-piece because that, that makes it so that I can use Fury, Fury more often. Fury gets decreased by 20% on the cooldown. So the cooldown of Fury is reduced by 20%. And also another six seconds with uh, th with this badge. So as you can see, it all ties into each other. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I was able to snag a three piece. Uh, it's an overall 10% DPS increase. The V the BT uh, Black Tower Bullpie only increases it by 30% and 70%. The VT increases it by 40% and 80%. So as you can see, like I said, 10% DPS increase. Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you. Uh, and that's pretty much what's been going on with me lately is, um, you know, uh, taking a break from the game during the week, logging in for my VT run, and I was able to get some gear. And fucking I've been testing it out ever since. I'm uh, so happy. I'm very grateful uh, for having this badge and, you know, and all this other shit. I think next up on my list is, of course, we got to get the we got to get the weapon up and the soul. Uh, and then of course we gotta finish up our AP set that's pretty much on my agenda. Oh, and of course get this to stage 10, right, whenever. Uh, the thing is the stage, the necklace is really fucking expensive. The necklace takes like 1200 Moonstone. I'm not kidding. It actually takes 1200 Moonstone, uh, to get this thing to max. And also fucking, um, what is it, like 9 premium stones? I don't know, it's, it's ridiculous. And, and like 60, 60, um, transformation stones, so it's a lot. It's uh, it's quite expensive. Uh, the match gets to stage ten, but that's all right. That is okay. Stage six is fine for now. We'll get this to ten, and uh, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, we'll be doing some D uh, DPS, uh, DPS uh, comparisons or some testing. I'm sure that's what a lot of why a lot of you clicked on this video was to check out how much DPS I do. I'll have a timestamp, of course. I'll have a timestamp when we start the fight. Or you probably saw that already and you probably skipped it over to the timestamp. Anyway, uh, so yeah, man. So we're going to do a few testing. A few things here for testing. And uh, we're over here at your boy, uh, the Turtle Man, uh, like everybody always does. And uh, we're going to do two tests, okay? We're going to do two tests. The first test is we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do the Raven Gear test, okay? So I'm going to switch out my gear, okay? And we're going to do the, uh, the Raven Gear test. How much DPS do I do with Raven gear? Okay, swap that out. There we go. So this is pretty much the gear that I had before VT came into play. Okay, this is exactly the same gear, the exact gear I had. And we're going to see how much DPS uh, I do on this boss. Afterwards, the second test will be with the Aranzu badge. We're going to test how much DPS, how much my DPS got increased with the VT gear. I'm going to do a nice little comparison. And then after that, I'll show you some clips. Uh, I'll show you two fights. I did. I uh, did some Black Tower today, and I'll show you the third boss and the f and the uh, the Raven King boss, and uh, pretty much show you uh, and explain to you why I'm going to be showing you guys those battles. Uh, basically, one battle pretty much shows how much DPS I can do when I'm just doing DPS and not doing mechanics. Pretty much ignoring mechanics and just doing DPS. That's one of the fights, the third boss, and then on the Raven King, I actually do uh, Soul Space mechanics, and you could see. In that fight that uh, the Ranzu badge makes sure 
that I, I'm able to keep a steady, sustained DPS, even though I'm doing mechs. I don't actually, you know, burst my DPS all the way up to the top and then fall off at the bottom towards the end of the fight because I'm doing mechanics. This badge makes it so that I can keep a, a very nice, sustained DPS while doing mechs at the same time. So I'll show you two of those examples right after we do these tests, and then I'll let you go on your way, man, your, your uh, merry way. And, uh, yeah, man. So here we go. First test, Raven Gear. Let's get it. Some Raven Gear testing. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have okay, we have 145k. So I'm doing about 145k uh, on this boss right here. Okay, 145k, and as you can see, uh, that was about a two and a half minute fight. Okay, not too bad. I was getting pretty good resets. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good on the resets. Uh, yeah, uh, two and a half minutes at 145k sustain. Uh, that's what we got going on with the Raven gear, right? I'm pretty sure right now I want to make sure I didn't fuck anything up. Yeah, uh, pretty much the Raven gear. Okay, so that's the Raven gear. All right, 145k. We're going to go ahead, do that one more time, do another test. Uh, but this time, as you know, we're going to do the Aranzu gear, some of that VT action. Beautiful. Okay, and that's, uh, oh, can't forget about the necklace. Okay. Necklace, bam, bam, three piece. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. And you're gonna see how much my DPS has increased just by switching up, uh, just by, especially, uh, just by having this gear, right? Just by having a different necklace and, of course, the uh, the badge. Mostly the badge. Like I said, the badge was the biggest DPS increase. So uh, yeah. All right. Let's get it. Aranzu badge action. <laughs>
Man, that was a lot quicker. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was a lot quicker. Okay, as you can see, we got 194k sustained DPS. That was a... A uh, minute and 54 seconds, so about a two minute fight, okay, so that was about a two minute fight And as you can see main source of DPS cleave uh, is doing its job man with uh, you know doing about 10 million uh, DPS accumulated damage, right? It's about 47% of my overall DPS is cleave. So it's the main source, uh, but as you can see man 194 so I, I let's see is it can I do a roundup? No, I can't okay, so it's a 194 all right so I went from 145k, and, and I know the, the training room, like I said before, I stated this in the KFM video too, the training room is not 100% accurate, okay, but at least this is able to give me a rough estimate of where I'm at in my uh, my DPS. Uh, like I said, not 100% accurate, but it's, it's a pretty decent rough estimate. Uh, so I went from 145k with the Raven Gear to 194k uh, sustained DPS, so that is a huge fucking overall DPS increase man that was like that's like um that's almost 50k yeah not gonna lie that is almost a 50k DPS increase that's huge okay that is fucking huge obviously you know I'm not this and you know I'm not pulling numbers like like uh, blade dancers you know obviously you know the game is is terribly balanced when it comes to the classes and blade dancers of course are pulling you know well over 200k, almost 300k uh, sustained DPS, right? 300k mark, whatever. But, uh, you know, like, like, and you know, it's not my, you know, it's, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm just saying the game is completely not balanced, okay? The classes are not balanced, and I think a lot of us know that, okay? BDs are extremely broken, okay? So I'm, I'm definitely not pulling numbers with the numbers that they're pulling, but as you could see, just by having the point is just by having this gear you can get a rough estimate of how much your DPS is going to increase the best part about this is I'm not even done gearing up yet okay I'm not even done fucking gearing up yet as you can say we can get if I get the weapon higher stage 6 or even you know or even fucking Aranzu 3 right if I if I get it to stage 9 and go to Aranzu 3 I mean that alone you know that alone is already a fucking huge uh, huge DPS increase or whatever, you know, just by having the, the weapon upgrade or, or or even the soul, right? If I had Awaken Cosmic Stage One, right? Awaken Cosmic Stage One is a huge upgrade, right? So I I would definitely be pulling numbers even higher than this. But like I said, the point is, just by having VT gear and not even paying attention to my soul, you know, I haven't upgraded my soul since you know it, it's been a while. Okay, it's been a while since I upgraded my soul. It's been it's been true ascending for a while. And same thing with my axe. It's been true. It's been stage six for a while. I haven't really touched this or this, okay, in months. And the pat and I, I and I pretty much get this VT gear in two weeks, and my DPS increases by about almost 50k. So I mean, you know, like I said, guys, it's you know VT is very the VT gear is very superior, and uh, you know that's pretty much a rough estimate of the numbers that I could be pulling uh, as of right now. Uh, obviously, I will be I would be in the 200k range, uh, to over 200k sustain, um, if I had things like you know a higher weapon stage or even a lower ping. Right, ping is a huge uh, ping is a very very huge uh, factor into your gameplay and the amount of DPS uh, that you could do. Right, so if I had you know things like better ping or a uh, higher soul, a higher weapon. Obviously, I will be pulling numbers that are way higher than this. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much about it for me. That's all I wanted to show you. That's pretty much a, a status update of where I'm at with my gear. Uh, we're still uh, cl trying to clear boss three as of right now. We got them down to like 50%. I think that was like the best we could do. Uh, so we're trying to, uh, you know, um, get down to 50%. Uh, go through the first phase a bit more smoothly, and then we're going to be working on the uh, the second and final phase uh, for boss three, and then of course onto the hive queen and whatnot. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, slowly but surely we'll get there. You'll see the clear videos whenever they come out or whenever we decide to clear those bosses. And uh, yeah, I never said I was a hardcore raider. I am a raider, but I'm not a hardcore elitist competitive uh, raider like some of the uh, the pay to win whales out there, right? Uh, so yeah, pretty much just playing this game for fun and uh, you know what socializing whatnot. Anyway, I'm I'm starting to ramble on. Um, like I said, the point is, get yourself some VT gear, man. You will definitely not be disappointed. You know, fucking 
search up the requirements on the kinds of gear that you need to get in order to run VT and go out and look for a clan. Go out and look for a guild that's willing to take you in uh, because let me tell you, as soon as you get things like this badge, especially if you get this badge, you are going to see one of the biggest DPS increases you'll ever see um, pretty much in a long time, I guess you could say, right? We all thought the bracelet, we all thought the fucking bracelet was going to be a huge DPS increase. But no, man, it's this badge. This fucking badge is so superior, it is not, it's, it's unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. And I think some of you people who are watching right now who actually have VT gear and have had it for a while can agree with me on that. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Like I said, the next two things you're going to be seeing in this video is pretty much those fights. I did, like I did, like I said, I, I uh, did some Black Tower today, and uh, I'm pretty much showing you guys the third boss and the fourth boss, uh, a DPS, uh, I guess a DPS comparison, or the kinds of numbers that I'm pulling uh, in Black Tower nowadays uh, with the Aranzu gear, okay? So, uh, yeah, man, hopefully you enjoy those fights. And, uh, I think that's, like I said, the fuck, that's about it. I don't know how I'm gonna end this video, but, uh, I guess I just end it how I normally do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more BNS content to come your way. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section if you have any questions about the VT gear, or getting into VT, or the kinds of gear requirements that you need to do, need to have in order to do, uh, Vortex Temple. I would be happy to answer them and whatnot. Um, and yeah guys, thank you so much for watching like I said, hopefully you're all having a very easy day. I love you all as always, I really do. I love your support. And I love you very much. And all that beautiful rambling speechness. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyways guys, hopefully you're all having a very easy day. Stay tuned for more. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. And I'm out. Peace! table oh what why Am I? Oh, fuck, I'm too maybe close. a bit cut yeah I just forget about that oh. ah no funny <laughs> where is it honey? oh wow. good I should have done the uh, HM block. Oh yeah, I forgot. Alpha. Hey, Grin. Yeah, oh, never mind. I'll have to tell you. Mm, this guy's fire, right? So, we want ice speed. Alright, first laser hit. Done. There you go. Try not to continue the aerial, please. What the, uh. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. We completely missed our side. Yep. Yeah, that's first hit. Done. Right, there we go. Oh crap, fireballs. Hurts. Call it. Done. Pick up. Up. There you go. Uh, Slowed all damage on the right, on the spear side. 
Yeah. Stop DPS on this guy. Oh, he's dead. Shit. Done. Oh no. Ah, uh, you might have enough time. I think you have about 30 seconds. Okay. Is he slowing down that spin? There you go. Good. Whew. Should have left. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Uh. <laughs> Ready, right? <laughs> I said all team members ready. Yep. I was looking at my dog. At the reset. Prepare stands. <laughs> oh. Nothing. My bad. Stand. Stones. Stones. Just need a cat on temple, yeah. on them. That's all we'll need. Fuck. I understand light, sorry. Tempo Hill. Move. West. Press this down. Number one is in. Alright, I'll 
like it, okay? Barrel damage. Spin. Okay. Take get light up. If you just, oh, never mind. Let's see. Simpa, go to the back near the wall. Prepare stuns. Alright, you don't have to go toward the wall, just stand max range. Are they all dead easy? Uh, yes. Prepare stun. Yeah. I got him. Alright, first the buff. Move left. Really? Oh, yeah. Knock, knock down, knock down. Mark, land. They're up again. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Right, right. Uh, go back to boss. Okay, Mark, don't me out there. Go back to boss, easy. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Hey. Good job, survivors. Oh my gosh. People need but some point in defense, man. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. It really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you all are having a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!